In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can normalize your audio files using Audacity. When you normalize your audio, what you're doing is you are adjusting the level or the volume of your audio files without affecting their dynamic range. So the relationship that the louder points and the softer points have to each other. And there are two main reasons that you would want to normalize your audio. The first one is to match volume levels across different clips. So let's say that you have uh, an intro music segments and then you have a narrated segment and then an interview section. You want all of those to sound basically at the same volume level. And so you can normalize your audio to make sure that one is not too loud and the other too soft. The other reason you would normalize your audio is that your audio file just is too soft, that you can't actually see the waveforms, you're having trouble editing it, and it's not actually that easy to hear. And normalizing your audio fixes that. Now the first thing you have to do in order to apply the normalize effect is select the audio that you want to normalize. So here I have a track that I've brought in, and so I'm just gonna use Command A or Control A, if you're using a Windows computer, to select it. And so you can see the color of the track changed in the background, so I know that I've selected this entire track. From there, you're gonna go up to the Effect tab on the top of your screen and go down and click Normalize. So here, Audacity is gonna give you a couple different options, things you can do to normalize your audio. The first option it gives you is to remove the DC offset and center on 0, 0.0 vertically. So essentially all that means is that you want your waveform to be centered on that 0, 0.0 line on the track. So if you go back and you check this track, 0, 0.0 is right here, that's the center point, and you want that to be in the middle. So you actually wanna leave this checked. The second option that you have is to normalize your peak amplitude to negative one decibels or whatever value you want. And the reason that is important is because when you normalize your audio, you don't want your peaks or your loudest parts to get so loud that they extend beyond negative one decibels, that they extend beyond the boundaries of the track. Because then you get distortion, you get clipping, and even though, sure, you can hear the audio, it doesn't sound very good. And so you want Audacity to stop at negative one decibel. And that's the industry standard for peak volume, and so you just wanna leave it at the default there. The other thing you can do is normalize your stereo channels independently. Let's say that you're using a Behringer mixer, and you're actually mixing two microphones. One's recorded on the left side of the stereo mix, and one's recorded on the right side you actually do want to analyze both of them separately because you might be speaking at a different volume than your co-host or your guest. So if that's the case, then you would select this checkbox to normalize your stereo channels independently. But if not, then you wouldn't. Now, before you make this change, you can actually preview six seconds of the audio so you can hear what it's gonna sound like when you apply this normalization. And then if you like what you hear, you can click OK. And so now, Audacity has normalized my audio. So it bumped up the volume to get that peak volume right at negative one decibels. And so now I can start working with my audio knowing that it's at the right level. Now, if you wanna learn everything that you need to know about how to edit podcast episodes in Audacity, then I would encourage you to check out our Audacity tutorial playlist here on the Bus Route YouTube channel. I'll, I'll leave a link in the show notes as well so you can go and check that out. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the Bus Route YouTube channel. Every single week we're putting out new gear review videos, new software tutorials like this one, and even podcast strategy videos to really help you on your podcasting journey. Well, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep podcasting. Mm -hmm.